but our third and last doer, doers of uh, today have a really amazing story. We all know that we live in polarizing political times, and sometimes it feels like democracy is being stretched to its limits. And one of the problems is that the genuine connections that need to occur between constituents, voters, and their elected officials is troubled right now. And you can't keep your elected officials accountable if you can't talk to them. But the systems that we use to connect to Congress, to connect to our elected officials, were not prepared for the scale of advocacy that we're seeing in 2018. They're woefully inadequate. If you've ever tried to call your senator, you know that you probably get a busy signal. If you get through, you probably reach a voicemail box. And if you reach the voicemail box, it's probably full. So how can we have a functioning democracy if you can't even contact your elected officials? In fact, one day earlier this year, Congress received over 1.5 million calls in one day. And these Senate staffers are ill-equipped to be able to keep up. So our next doers asked, who's going to fix how Congress communicates? Are we going to wait for some carrier to fix this? No. They said, we are. So please welcome our next doers. They're building a solution to how Congress communicates with this whole country, Seamus Kraft and Aaron Ogle of Article One. And here to tell us more, come on up, Seamus. Seamus, welcome. It's great to be here. Thank you. It is great to have you here. So first of all, tell us a bit about OpenGov Foundation and your newest project, Article One. Well, the OpenGov Foundation is a civic nonprofit dedicated to empowering uh, those who serve in our governments with the technology they need to do their most important job, which is to communicate in an authentic, direct, and responsive way with we the people, right? Our system of government doesn't work if government can't hear what we want, know who we are, and work on the right priorities for us. Absolutely. What Article One is, is bringing that communications renaissance into Congress and really the whole public sector. Because it's like the scale of, like I think about 15 years ago, like you know, maybe you would call a senator maybe once every few years. Like now you see these internet campaigns that just drive millions of people to contact their representatives because these times are so polarized. It's, it's amazing. So tell us how you're rebuilding the connection between Congress and constituents. Well, what we're doing is we're bringing uh, Article One into Congress. And what it's doing is it's giving the hardworking men and women, mostly young, uh, who deeply, deeply want to hear from their constituents the capacity to understand and know who you are and be responsive. You know, the, the reality is Congress is a 19th century institution trying to solve 21st century problems with 20th century technologies. And the 15 years you reference is actually really good. Um, the average age of federal technology is 15 years. That's mm. be certainly before Twilio, before social media, before grassroots online advocacy, and the systems that congressional staff have. And this is a problem that we would never see if we weren't able to get in on the inside like we do every day. Uh, they average that old, and it's a postal mail system, and we're trying to cram all this digital communications into postal-based systems. It ain't going to work. So tell me about how you're solving it. What does your product do? Absolutely. So what Article 1 does is it gives those Senate offices unlimited capacity, right? Senate office voicemail boxes are limited at 300 messages. That's, that's today? Today. 300 How? messages, and then the voicemail box is full. And then it's full. That's right? like 12 seconds of someone tweeting, like, call Congress. Less than 12 seconds. And if you're, say, a senator from California, you have 40 million people whose voices you need to hear. And the impact of this... 300 voicemails. Yeah, 300 voicemails. So you're solving that, right? Because you've got, you will take voicemails, the voice, like, first of all, you never get a busy signal because Every it's busy. cloud scale. You take the voicemails, you transcribe them automatically. So that the staffers, because that's one of the jobs these staffers do, they sit there and they transcribe a phone call by hand. They spend half their day doing that. They can't call anyone back. They can't have a real conversation. So you transcribe it for them. You allow them to text too, right? Yeah, so we brought text messaging into Congress for the first time. Uh, it's a normal way of communicating. It hasn't been brought into the institution before. And what that's doing is when you call, uh, you get an automatic text message back. So immediately you are validated that your voice was counted, not silenced by, say, a full voicemail box. And what's the impact you're seeing now, having rolled this out to Congress? What we're seeing is surprised and delighted constituents. Now imagine that, right? We are uh, pretty down on the institution and its ability to solve the right problems. 
uh, we're seeing constituents call and text and being shocked. Like the messages that we see coming in, just saying thank you, thank you for being responsive. That's how we build trust and rebuild the capacity of the institution. And the people that we work with every day, those young men and women who are serving their country and doing their best with poor systems, uh, they're, they're unleashed. They're actually able to focus on the right priorities for the right people and have human conversations with the people on the other end of the phone. Uh, that's revolutionary, and that's how it should work every day. Fantastic. Now, you started by focusing on Congress, so the House of Representatives, Senators. What's next? Well, those problems, that uh, massive, massive communications crisis that we're seeing in Congress, a flavor of that exists everywhere else, whether it's the San Francisco Board of Supervisors here, Sacramento, your small city council. Uh, well, our goal is, is to rebuild the entire communications infrastructure of representative democracy so that every voice coming in, in is heard and everybody is serving has the ability to be responsive. That's an amazing mission. Thank you for undertaking this mission. Everybody, please give it up for Seamus and Article Thank One. You. Thanks, awesome. Jeff. Appreciate Congratulations. It. Thank you.